Hi guys, it's Shannon. Today we're going to be making this Hello Fall door tag using supplies from the Dollar Tree. You won't believe what it started out as. Here's a look at all the supplies I'll be using for this project. So the main thing that you'll need is this road sign. As the tag said, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's double-sided and I liked it because it was about the right size and the corners were rounded and it's nice and thin, almost like a cardboard. I'll also be using some Waverly chalk paint in the colors ink, elephant, and plaster. I also have a foam paintbrush, one for each color. Next is some nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. You can also substitute jute or twine or ribbon for this as well. Just use what you have on hand. Then as far as tools, I'll be using some scissors, a pair of tin snips, and also my drill with a 5 8 inch bit. To get started, I used a ruler and a pencil to mark where I wanted my corners cut off. You could definitely use scissors to cut the corners off, however I had those tin snips handy and they're a little bit more heavy duty and have some more power so I used those instead. I used that first corner as a template to mark where my next cut line would be, that way both sides of the tag would be the same size. Here's a look at the top of the tag to give you an idea of how much I cut off. Next, I came in with my drill and my 5 8 inch drill bit and just drilled a quick hole in the top. I just cleaned up the hole a little bit and it really does get covered up for the most part with the paint and that jute that we'll be adding in later. Next, I gave the whole sign a quick coat of that elephant gray chalk paint and this really did a good job of covering up all those bright colors instead of going straight to the lighter color first. So this is basically just a base coat. It was still showing through, so I even went back and gave it a second coat of the gray. After the gray had dried completely, I let it sit for at least half an hour to make sure it cured all the way. I went in with the plaster, which is a kind of a white and off-white color. I wanted some of that gray to show through so it had more of a rustic look. So I just sort of dry brushed it on and didn't do a full complete coat. To give it more of that rustic farmhouse look, I went back with the black paint and got all of the edges, sort of gave the middle a little bit more of a distressed look with the paintbrush and made sure to get all the corners and edges. Once all the chalk paint dried, I used this clear matte sealer by Color Shot. I gave it two coats of this to prep the surface. Not only does that seal the paint in, but it also protects the surface when we go to add our decal next. Next it was time to add the decal. If you do not have a vinyl cutter, you can actually find this in my Etsy shop, which is crossinmyheart.com. If you do have a vinyl machine, I use the font Magnolia Sky and Oracle 651 in a matte black vinyl. It's really simple to apply decals. I will link in the iCards a full tutorial on how to apply decals step by step. I used the Dollar Tree nautical rope for the hanger. I added some scotch tape to the end of the rope to help feed it through that hole and then tied a knot at the top, cut the rope to size, and then cut off the tape from the rope. Of course this part is optional. I wanted to add a little bit more detail to the tag, so I added some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, and then I had a sprig of some eucalyptus that was just in my craft stash. 
I just added a very simple knot of the ribbon and dovetailed the ends and then fed the sprig of eucalyptus through the hole and added a little dot of glue to hold it in place and that was all there was to adding a little touch of farmhouse detail to this now finished door tag. I really love the look of this non-traditional front door decor. It's kind of a nice alternative to the traditional wreath. Fall is definitely my most favorite season. My birthday is in October, so I've always just really looked forward to this time of year. Let me know what your favorite season is down in the comments below. I hope this tutorial inspired you. Make sure to take a second to give it a thumbs up for me. You can also share this with your friends and family and inspire them too. You can also follow me on social media. You can find me on Instagram and on Facebook. I will have those both linked down in the description box below. Please take a second to also hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hit the bell as well so that you're one of the first to see when my videos do go live. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.